in the osteogenic layer or cellular layer, you're going to find the cells that produce new bone in the layers. These layers, because they go completely around the circumference of the bone shaft, would be referred to as the circumferential lamellae. These cells which are responsible for maintaining the bony tissue are referred to as osteocytes. These osteocytes are found in spaces which are referred to as lacunae. The lacunae is plural for lacuna. There are extensions of these osteocytes which go through the substance of the bone, the hard mineralized substance of the bone, and they're going through these narrow channels, these very narrow channels which you can see represented by these very narrow lines going through the lamellae. These narrow channels are like tiny little canals and for that reason they're referred to as canaliculi. Here are the circumferential lamellae again from a different perspective. Again this is the perforating artery. You can see here osteocytes with their processes extending into the canaliculi represented by these inscribed spaces in the lamellae. Here is another view of the model and here again is the periosteum and right underneath the periosteum we would have the circumferential lamellae and right over here we have three of the lamellae that are pulled out in relief so that we can get a better look at them. So let's take a closer look the lamellae are inscribed. You have these lines which are going through them. And notice how these lines are arranged at an angle. And notice how the orientation of the lines here, which are different from the orientation of the lines here, and yet again different from the orientation of the lines right over here. Uh, these lines are meant to represent the collagen fibers which you find within the mineralized substance of the bone and these collagen fibers are going to give bone tensile strength. So they're going to reduce the brittleness of bone and make them somewhat more tougher so they can resist twisting forces without snapping. Uh, notice that these collagen fibers in each layer are oriented at different angles and this has the advantage of giving the bone strength, this tensile strength, in different directions.